Hey, what's happening guys? Thanks for joining me today. Now today I'm going to fulfill a viewer request um, from, I'm uh, probably going to say this wrong, Alain, A-L-A-I-N, who says he needs to build an oscillator, but he doesn't have a lot of stuff. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is I've got an entire playlist of oscillator videos. So there's my oscillator playlist. We have phase shift, 555, a relaxation oscillator, an LED alternate flasher, a sine wave generator, tuned oscillator, cold pitch crystal oscillator, voltage controlled oscillator. So plenty of different ideas on how to make an oscillator, but you generally need a few different components to make them work. You know, for example, the uh, relaxation oscillator, which is the one that uses two uh, transistors. You're going to need two transistors, four resistors, a couple capacitors. Let's do something simple. Okay. Let's talk about a relay oscillator. Really simple. So, you know, you have a relay. You have your coil and then you have the two ends of the coil this is your common this is your normally closed Oops, ignore that and that's your normally open so when the coil is unenergized <clears throat> you have your normally closed closed and when it is energized, it swaps, it snaps over here and goes like that. So pretty simple, makes a path. The beautiful part relay is that there's no connection between the coil and the load. So that allows you to switch higher uh, power draw loads really neat thing great idea works out great use the ton in automotive applications so how can we make our relay oscillator well it's really simple we're gonna take our plus VCC our positive and it's gonna go to one end of the coil our ground <clears throat> goes to the normally closed. Are you with me so far? All right. And then if we simply run a wire between common and the other end of our coil, that little guy will go crazy and start buzzing. And that buzzing is a high frequency oscillation. Now, if you want to control the frequency, if you want to slow it down, then what we need to do is in parallel here, we need to add a capacitor. And I have just such a circuit made up here for us to take a look at. Here's a circuit in its most basic form right here is our positive it goes to one leg of the coil there's our jumper wire between the common the other side of the coil and then here is our normally closed going to ground and if I energize this you should be able to hear something Did you hear that beep well that's it it's oscillating. Oscillating probably quit pretty quickly. So let's hook it up to the old oscilloscope here. And we'll have a look. All right, here we go up to the oscilloscope. And There she is. Let's uh, 
so we can adjust our trigger here a little bit. Anyway, you can see, at least I hope you can, we're at 28, 28 kilohertz. We're looking at about 3 volts peak to peak. Okay? So now let's come back down here to our circuit. A visual way to see it working is to use an LED. This is a 1K resistor that I have soldered onto the anode. And we'll plug that guy in right there. And if I turn it on now, you don't see anything. And that's because it's going way too fast. So, you're going to have to do some experimentation with capacitors to find out which one works for you. Um, in my case, we're going to be using a 3300 microfarad capacitor. And you'll find out it should work pretty well. Hmm. There we go. Now you can now hear it and you can see it. Now you notice that it's not shutting off clean. It's kind of a slow decay. And the reason for that, of course, is that capacitor is taking a little time to drain. So if we take a look at it on the scope again, Actually, just does not like the placement of my scope. Yeah, okay. Guess I'll have to hold it again. You can see we're getting a frequency of about 3 hertz. And you can also see the charge discharge cycle of the capacitor. So, if we don't count the LED, because that's just there as a visual cue for us making the video. You made yourself an oscillator with two components. That's pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helped somebody. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons, dwindling number though they be. And a big thanks to you for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Peace.